Hi, my name is Clarence Woodsma. I'm the director of the School of Planning at the University of Waterloo. And it's my pleasure to talk to you about planning at the University of Waterloo and why you might want to consider studying planning at the University of Waterloo. What is planning? That's a great question. Uh, one that I often get from students that are inquiring about our program. If you think about the city where you live or the community where you live today and you think about the buildings and the infrastructure and the roads and, and the environment, the green spaces, why do they look the way they do? How are they located the way they are? That's the role of planning in the planning profession. We focus on shaping the spaces and places in your community. And that community might be a big city like Toronto or a small town in Southern Ontario. We look at the issues that you're facing today, it might be related to housing, might be related to transportation, congestion, might have something to do with the environment, climate change, obviously, and climate change adaptation. We tackle those issues as well as keep an eye on the future and plan for tomorrow. We basically take you where you are today and, and think about where your community might want to go and, and help the community follow that path. When planners are working to shape the future of your community and, and when you're learning about planning, there's a real interesting range of topics that uh, planners learn about uh, through their degree as well as apply when they're working in the profession. You're going to learn about the history of cities and how they're planned. You're going to learn about current social and economic issues in our communities. Obviously, the environment and how we manage the environment is a key part of planning, housing, infrastructure. Uh, and then there's the actual nuts and bolts, the planning policy and legal framework. Um, great cities don't happen by accident. There's a structure in place and planning is the profession that sort of works within that structure. How would we describe planning? Um, it's interdisciplinary and integrative. And what do I mean by that? Interdisciplinarity implies that it, it's not just about planning per se, but we also draw from economy, we draw from sociology, we draw from other disciplines like environment, and engineering and architecture. Um, often people are mostly identify with architecture and engineering when they think of city building, but planners are really the glue, the integrators that sort of pull those different disciplines together. Students love planning because it's a really applied degree to study. Uh, we work a lot with community partners and you have real hands-on projects through your courses. And obviously Waterloo and our degree is fully cooperative uh, and we're known for co-op education. And that's a big part uh, of the experiential learning component in our program. It's definitely very much a hands-on degree. There's lots of applied skills that you're going to learn through this degree. It might relate to urban design, computerized mapping, CAD design, um, also data analytics is a huge part of planning. The, the amount of data that we're gathering on a daily basis through our use of modern technology is phenomenal, but it's a great opportunity for planners to really understand what's going on in their community. You're also gonna learn how to work with that community in terms of public participation and engagement, negotiation. Planning is about compromise often between intended directions and different stakeholders. And this is a really important skill that students are going to uh, build and learn in their degree. Um, the way our program is structured first and second year is really about getting that knowledge foundation and that skill foundation to prepare you to embark on your subsequent co-op terms. People often ask, why should I study planning? What kind of future does it uh, prepare me for? Um, if you're somebody that wants to make your community a better place, if you want to create places that work really well, they're really efficient, smart, modern, sustainable, these are all sort of ambitions that our, our students have when they're studying planning, and that's where they'd like to go. Um, basically, building great communities. If you think of the places you've visited um, that have resonated with you and connected with you, and you thought, wow, it's like, why is this place so awesome? Chances are that planners played a role in, in creating that kind of awesome environment. In terms of the range of students that come into our program, one of the things we really love is that there's a great diversity. They come from different parts of Canada and the province of Ontario. They have different interests and backgrounds. Many of them have a strong interest in architecture and design. Um, and when they come into our program, they sort of recognize that it speaks to them in terms of their Again, uh, interest in community at that sort of larger scale, um, interest in the diversity of issues. It's not just about sites and buildings, but it's broader than that. Planning really is about people, and it's a very people-oriented degree of study. Why would you consider studying specifically planning at the University of Waterloo? There's a number of real key advantages. 
We're one of Canada's longest standing and largest planning programs. Currently, we have over 19 faculty and 500 students studying planning. You'll get an opportunity to sort of work with this great community of students that we have. You'll also work with our extensive network of alumni. We've been graduating planning students for over 50 years, and you'll find that throughout Canada and internationally, you'll connect with planners that have graduated from our program. We're recognized by the Canadian Institute of Planners and their Ontario affiliate, the Ontario Professional Planners Institute. And what that recognition means is that we're specifically accredited by the profession. The degree that we offer is vetted by them and prepares you and gives you advanced standing when you're ready to join the planning profession. They're also very much connected throughout your degree experience. You have an opportunity to be a student member. You have an opportunity to apply for scholarships and you have an opportunity to participate in planning and build your begin to build your network with the planning profession. Obviously, another real distinct advantage is a cooperative education, and we're going to explore that a little bit further. Experiential learning is a really key part of the University of Waterloo planning experience. We have courses that are specifically designed to give you that opportunity to work with the community firsthand or to work with clients, whether they be from the government, from municipalities or from the private sector. And you'll work in teams with real projects that are drawn from your local community. Um, these are great learning experiences for our students. Uh, it helps them grow both as individuals and in the knowledge of planning. Uh, and it's a real highlight of our degree program, the opportunities that we provide. Jacqueline is a student that I had the pleasure of teaching and she's pictured here in, in the middle of obviously a construction site. Jacqueline's experience really typifies the strength of the co-op program where she took her own interest from high school days in her community and affordable housing, saw an opportunity to work with a nonprofit through her co-op term um, and really benefited from that hands-on experience on the ground. And she had the responsibility for stick handling project components and seeing it come from designs and plans to actual fruition, working with the families that we're going to inhabit those homes. It's a great story and it's an opportunity that's repeated by hundreds of students through their co-op education at the University of Waterloo. What will you experience in your first year? We structured it in such a way that we've taken some of the guesswork out and that your first term, you don't have the opportunity to choose electives, but we give you a structured foundation to prepare you for not only your future years of study, but also for your important co-op experiences where you'll get to work in the profession firsthand. It's a combination of knowledge and learning about skills that you'll need uh, that will make you a valuable member of the profession. In your second term, in the winter term starting in January, there's three core courses that focus on things like planning administration and finance, as well as urban design, and of course, an understanding of working with data fundamentals, and you'll have an opportunity to explore electives. In our degree program, we also offer four specializations that speak to some of the interests, not only of our faculty, but also of the profession and our students, whether it be urban design or land development. Um, there's a series of courses that you'll take in your upper years that will help round out your degree and give you a sense of focus. Waterloo has been an innovator in the co-op experience. And what it means for you as a student specifically is an opportunity to gain extremely valuable work experience while you're pursuing your degree. You also get to earn an income while you're doing that work, uh, which will help with the financial implications of pursuing a degree. You'll get five work terms of experience. You'll also get to try out different elements of your career of interest. Uh, not everyone does planning jobs for all five of their co-op work terms. They might try, for example, a different position working more in, as a sustainability officer or in terms of environmental management. So you get to try out different things before you actually commit long-term to a career. That's a really important part of the uh, co-op experience and the value that it brings to our students. You also get to meet uh, and grow your own professional network. And this is a really under, I think, appreciated value of co-op is that you're meeting people that you're going to be peers with in terms of your career. You're making connections that five, 10 years down the road uh, might pay off. And you'll also get to connect with our larger alumni network. University of Waterloo School of Planning has been graduating planners for over 50 years. Uh, and we have an amazing alumni network that when you're working, you'll run into people constantly that have graduated from our program, that respect and know our program. 
Um, and through the co-op, you'll get a chance to get into that network and build your own important professional network. Waterloo has been an innovator in co-op, and for decades, we've been Canada's leader in providing cooperative education. The numbers speak for themselves. You can see that there's a real advantage also in terms of your education, but when you're ready to start your career, the co-op experience gives you an extreme advantage and leg up on your peers that are pursuing similar degrees, but without that important benefit of co-op education. Specifically in the School of Planning and, and what are some of the co-op experiences that our students have? Um, again, our strong network of alumni and partner firms that we work with uh, present a really interesting range of positions that our students engage with. You might be a land use planner working, for example, in a private sector consulting firm. You might have an opportunity to sort of flex your knowledge and skills in the techniques of planning, whether it's related to design or statistical analysis or demographic analysis and get employed uh, as a designer or an analyst. Um, and you might also have an opportunity to get in a specific environmental planning related position more in the ground and on the field. Co-op really prepares you for that career. And in terms of what are the options for you once you graduate and sort of move into your career, obviously related to planning, many people identify with municipalities and government as being a source of employment. But about a third of our students end up graduating and working in the private sector as well, whether it be in development planning or for the major consultancies that build and shape our cities through infrastructure projects, big and small. Um, you also may get involved at the community level in terms of social planning, uh, addressing some of those major issues related to affordable housing or ensuring that uh, all citizens in the city have equitable access to the things that matter to them green spaces, recreation, social interaction. These are such key elements of what make our cities great. And social planners have that opportunity to work with their stakeholders and, and help enhance those opportunities in their community. One of the other elements of uh, career and planning is that in terms of the potential income, uh, according to Stats Canada right now, the median income for planners across Canada, there's some 10,000 planners working in the planning profession with a median income of $85,000. Um, so it's a great career uh, in terms of providing you opportunities both for your interest and, and in terms of your own uh, financial well-being. In terms of the careers that our students uh, embark in, and in there's a strong connection with our co-op opportunities as well. So many of the firms that you see listed here in the municipalities are also major co-op employers, and they also end up hiring our students when they graduate, uh, whether again, City of Brampton, City of Toronto, Metrolinx, Dillon Consulting, WSP, Acon, the IBI Group. Uh, planners work in a diverse range of fields. What do you need in terms of uh, admission requirements uh, to study at the University of Waterloo? Typically, our entrance averages are in the low 80s for six courses coming out of high school. Our specific requirement is that you have a 75 in English. Uh, and people often ask me, why the 75 in English? One of the skills that is really critical in the context of planning as a profession is communication, uh, written, oral, uh, visual, statistical. Uh, so we really wanna make sure that our students come into our program with a really strong foundation in communication. In terms of recommended courses, um, again, mathematics would be great just because there are, uh, surprisingly to a lot of people, a lot of tactical dimensions in planning in terms of analyzing populations uh, and what's going on in the world around us. So if you're studying transportation, if you're studying housing, if you're dealing with finances, um, having a bit of a, a head for numbers is not a bad thing. Um, so uh, we would recommend that as well. In terms of entrance scholarships at the University of Waterloo, uh, we have a set uh, amount of funding that basically you don't have to apply for, it's just based on your admission average. Um, we do pay attention, people often ask me as well whether or not we uh, review the admission information form. It is important to include that admission information form because uh, it accomplishes a couple of things. There are a number of scholarships that we would review that information to see whether or not you uh, meet some of the eligibility requirements for those scholarships. The admission information form also gives us a sense a little bit more about where you're from and, and what your interests are. And in terms of connecting with you, if you're made an offer, um, again, we, we like to, uh, to know a little bit about you before you come into the program. So it's not just based purely on your average. The planning students that we interact with are a fantastic part of our community. 
Um, people really enjoy studying planning and we have a great uh, community student body. Um, and it starts with sort of getting a sense of, of who you are and what your interests are as well. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and it's given you a better sense of what it would be like studying planning at the University of Waterloo and what the prospects might be for you in terms of your future study and career. If you've got questions, please reach out to us at the contact information. We'd love to hear from you.